Power of Babel. Hello. Time for a stitch with me. How are you guys doing today? It is the day after Thanksgiving, and there's still about eight inches of snow on the ground, and it's nice and overcast. So we're going to be having this snow for quite some time, I think, which is unusual for us. But um, we're going to work on some Tower of Babel, because I didn't work on it at all last week when I was going nuts over all the stitching that I was doing. So we are uh, going to make some progress on this one today. Actually I, actually, I think I haven't really even done anything on it in quite some time. So let me just open this book up. I gathered some flouse. Got my glasses. Hope the light's decent enough. And got kind of a, well, this is an unusual one because this is actually Friday afternoon. And I took the day off. I took a, like a four-day weekend. So I could get a lot more stuff done. And I spent, I got up at 6.30 and I worked from 6.30 to about... 2.30 on a website, all kinds of website stuff, because I got a lot of different website stuff, things that I got to do. And I did that all day. And then my mama called, because she just drove back from Kentucky to Georgia, and she made great time and got home safely. So that was awesome. And But we talked for quite a while. And no, it was more like yeah, too. Yeah. So anyway, we talked for quite a while, and now Mercury is going to make a lot of noise. And and there we go. So let me just undo this. These are blended threads, so I didn't really prepare anything ahead of time. So I'm doing that right now. So hope you guys had. All those Americans out there had a good Thanksgiving. There's quite a few of you that are not Americans, as I found out in my last video, all my comments. But uh, people that, it's a one, I had one or two from Australia, um, somebody from Egypt, the UK, Canada, and then all across America. That was really cool, guys. That was really, really cool. So, traditionally, I think what most people would think of as traditional American Thanksgiving is usually like turkey and just a bunch of other side, we call them side dishes like potatoes, vegetables, stuffing, you know, all different kinds of things. My husband and I did something a little bit different. And we had some lobster and some king crab legs. And that was amazing. So we're pretty, ex we're pretty excited about that. Pretty excited. Ooh, the wind's picking up outside. Boy, has it been cold this whole week. Which is fine. It is almost December. Here we go. I don't know how good the color, or the color, I don't know how good the light is, but, but, we're going to work our way around this situation here, we're going to figure it out, so, have to say, still completely, ooh, look at that piece of fuzz, completely loving, um, Pattern Keeper, now, my issue is, Oh, I just pulled a thing of floss through. Hold on, I gotta fix. I have to try to fix this. Um, hmm. Well, what did I do? I but I love it. It's so much faster. It's oh, it's so much fun to use. I think I don't know if it's just that technology bit, you know, that we all love. We're all so used to technology nowadays that it's just kind of like what we do. Um, sorry, I'm just playing around with this, trying to get this one little bit of floss to pop through. Man. All right, I'm going to cut this because this is not appropriate. It's my little little section right here. It's in the way. Let's see if I can't fix that up a little bit. 
But, uh, anyway, so it's great for using it with, it does indeed, it works great for Artisy. It works Gecko Rouge. Oh, you know what popped up? Uh, my Wonders of the World project popped up on there. Or it didn't pop up. I was able to upload it, and it said it worked. It took forever, because it's like 500 pages of pattern. But it worked, and so I might be able to make some pretty good progress with that. The gerbil is making a lot of noise because she appears to be a little thirsty. But anyway, so got that. I'm really excited about it. Now, uh, one of you guys told me that Golden Kite was actually usable on there, and Old World Map 2 did not work. I uploaded it, and they said it, that they currently didn't support it. Um, so that's okay. Hopefully support will come. And we'll get that ironed out. That would be amazing if that could get done. That would help me out so much. So much. And uh, for those of you who don't use it and you wonder, well, why, why, why is it so much better? Like, why, does it, why am I so excited about it? It's just, it's literally just in the highlighting of the color. Like, and I know you guys are like, but you can highlight it on your paper and you go in and you highlight and then you can see where you need to stitch and then you can go back and then highlight it again. Well, that's the thing. It's like, I don't always catch everything. I'm not always 100% when it comes to getting all the stitches marked appropriately. And sometimes I miss stuff and then I come back, I'm like, oh, I missed that. I got to do that again. And so, so I would say... For someone like me, it works fantastic because all I have to do is just I click on the search icon and then I click on a symbol and then it highlights the whole page or I, should, I think everything actually um, with what I need to stitch. And it just is so much faster. It's funny though, I still find myself reaching for my highlighter half the time. I'll go to reach for the highlighter and be like, oh, oh, not the highlighter. Not that one. So that's kind of funny. Ah, but it'll be awesome when it finally does get to like everything. But I was pretty I was pretty happy about the artisty thing. Cause, Cause then we all do my cat. Specifically my mini cat. Now one of you guys said you were already doing the cat. Um, that is pretty, pretty amazing. I love that. That is fantastic. Um, I'm going to be picking up some, um, fabric real, real soon and hopefully be able to start on the mini cat real, real soon. And that'll make me very happy. And since I can use the pattern keeper, I might go really, really quick with it. We'll see. Um, Speaking of which, for those guys who entered in the pattern drawing for the full-sized um, uh, mini cat, or full-size cat from Artisy, uh, so I did the drawing. I actually did it, the last entry was yesterday, of whenever I picked it up. There was somebody that put an entry in yesterday, and I had 62. Two, not no, no, that wasn't right. It was like upper fifties as far as entries were concerned. So I did the drawing, and the first time that I I use a little thingy, um, it's a, it's a comet picker thing, whatever that I can get from uh, that I found on Google. I think I've already done this stitch, but I'm gonna do it over. Um, because I can't tell that I did the stitch, so. Anyway, um, so the first person I pulled out, uh, said, oh, thanks, but no thanks, which was funny. And then the second person I pulled out said the same thing. 
I said, thanks, but no thanks. I, uh, I already have enough, and uh, I'm already working on something else, which I just find was funny because there were so very few people that commented that that didn't need it or want it. And then finally, third time's a charm. Ironically, it's somebody who does kind of live fairly close. And I'm going to butcher the name because I... I might, I might butcher the name. I hope I don't. I think I got it. It's... Where's the cat? Cat, do a drum roll. He's not around. Stitchy Witch! Sure. Stitchy Witchy. Stitchy Witch. Stitch Witchy. Over in Kittridge. And I am incredibly jealous of where you live. But what I need to do is just get your email address. Just shoot me an email. Um, you can either... Send me a comment on the website or just look for it in my About tab on my YouTube profile and you'll find my, my email address. And what I'll need to do is just um, send a email over to the fine folks at RC down in ye old Australia and get that squared away for you. But congratulations, that is awesome. So that was cool. But boy, do I want to stitch on that. I want to get some stuff done. I'm struggling right now. I'm so distracted. I keep thinking about other things. And I'm so distracted. All right, let me get this going here. I'm telling you, when I just sit here and I'm just stitching like a maniac, I get so much done. So much done. So I've read, I've gotten two books read this week because we were off Tuesday and Thursday. Well, I'm always off Thursday, but Tuesday we, were, we had to stay home because it was just an absolute blizzard outside. I mean, a foot of snow, it was a blizzard. And so we did that and then Sorry, I just keep stuff, thoughts keep popping up in my head. And so, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> what was I talking about? I'm thinking, my goodness, train of thought out of the station. There was a specific reason why I wanted to say that we were off two days this week, and now I can't remember why. Or that I was off two days. But anyway, so I did get a lot more stitching done even after I... Because I, I stitched all day yesterday. Oh, two books. So Tuesday, I listened to this kind of sci-fi action adventure book. It was about almost eight hours long. And I finished it. Don't ask me how I did that. But I finished it like Monday night and Tuesday. And I finished the whole thing. And then yesterday, I picked a book in the morning and it was a book called something about thread but it wasn't it wasn't a craft book it was a anyway it's a good book and uh it was a really good book it made me cry like a baby just it was just so emotional and uh and I cry like a baby for a lot of things but it was, a, it was a really good book. I really enjoyed it. And so I can't believe that I actually have listened to two full books this week. That is just crazy, I'm telling you. But... Need to get my act together this year. I think this year I'm going to be a lot better about getting Christmas taken care of really early. I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. We'll see. Christmas tree is up. 
everything's good. Everything is good. Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 So, I think I'm just going to stitch for the rest of the night. Maybe. I kind of got sick of stitching yesterday because I think I had done stitching like literally all, like, all night Monday and then... All day Tuesday, I did the video on Wednesday, and I stitched Wednesday night, and then I stitched most of yesterday. And I did reach a point by the evening where I was like, all right, I'm done, um, where I just didn't have the drive anymore. But I now I have the drive again. Why is there a piece of funky thread right there? I'm not sure why. Hmm. And... Uh, so I'm going to work on this project. I worked on Honeybee Portrait, of course, and got more stitched, although I, I think I still want to do some more. But now that I've loaded up, especially like Wonders of the World, I mean, good gracious. Got to get, ah, got to get back on that. Just got a bee thread here. Dink, dink, dink. Oh, goodness. My wrist has been bugging me. I think I went and got adjusted on Wednesday, but my wrist was not bugging me then. I don't think we adjusted it. I don't like it when my wrist get adjusted anyway, because it's like a, because it's a hinge joint. I just don't think that it, I don't know. It's better if I kind of just traction it a little bit, but. All right, new bits here, new bits. I've been cleaning this room. That was something else I did yesterday for a little while. I got most of the room cleaned. Move the move the hamster into the corner where the gecko was and cleaned out her cage and just been kind of moving some other stuff around and gonna get it properly organized so that this table is not quite so cluttered. You cannot see how cluttered this table is, but it is cluttered. Believe you me. So I watched The Mandalorian. So today was the first day that I actually watched it on the day it was released, which just goes to show you that I need to take off more Fridays. No, it doesn't. It just means that I stayed up on it because everybody wants to spoil it. So it's good. It's very, it's a good. And everybody loves it. Well, everybody in this household loves it. And so, oh yeah, so someone asked about how little Ollie's doing. Totally forgot to mention him in the last video. He's fine. He went back home. I took him back home on last Sunday. And my husband was a little sad to let him go because he just, you know, he, he bonded with him a bit. And the, the little guy, like, sat on his lap and stuff. Even though he kept trying to bite me, he would... He never did that with Mark, so that was good. But it was it was good to let him go. I mean, it really it really was, and he was happy to go home and see his mom. So, um, yeah. So, so it was good. So, I was commenting on the last video about the whole kappa. 
Kaba situation with YouTube. And they've clarified, they put a thing out, I don't know if it was Wednesday or today, that they put out another explanatory thing. I st it just still seems kind of overreaching. You know, I'm, I feel like it's anti, uh-oh, apparently my phone is not technically charging. Why is it not technically charging or even actually charging? Hold on a second. Oh, because it came out of there. I just got to notice it was about to run out of juice. So it feels like it's overreaching because it... So the gist of it is that they don't want kids exposed to manipulative advertising and, you know... And I'm thinking to myself, you know, when I was a kid, that happened all the time, you know? I mean, I grew up okay. And, uh, or I should say, you know, if you, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you could, uh, uh, it's, I feel bad. I feel really bad for all, so for a fair number of these channels that basically are going to be shut down, um, because the FTC is taking the role of a parent. And, uh, you know, technically you're not supposed to have an account and be on YouTube if you're 13, 13 or 14 or something like that. Like, there's supposed to be an age limit. And so instead of actually enforcing the age limit, they are, or just, you know, if the parents want the kids to come on the channel, and, or not want them, but say it's okay for them to, then they should, you know, Im implicitly sign off on any advertising they're exposed to. It, it, it just, it's just, it feels like it's overreaching. It feels like it is a case of too much government. And, uh, it's very anti-regular person because you know you have channels like Hasbro and Mattel and you know the any you know the people who actually make toys and stuff and they they make videos and stuff about their toys and then there's also advertising like just take away those kinds of channels if you want but you know when I was a kid do y'all remember when you were kids here in America we used to get the JC Penny book and so the J.C. Penny like Christmas book would come, and it would have like pictures of all the Star Wars toys and just all the toys in general. And you got to it was so much fun to just kind of flip through it and see what you'd want. And um, it's just it, it it's frustrating. And, and I don't. And I'm not even going to be affected. I mean, cross stitchers, unless your ch a channel is specifically designed for kids. Like you had a channel where, hey kids, look at my cross stitching. I'm going to show you how to get started in cross stitching. Or I'm going to direct my patterns to little kids. And trust me, little kids are not cross stitching. And there are some because they are special. And those are the awesome ones, the ones that cross stitch. But they're, most of them aren't. And cross stitch channels are not going to be affected now, reading the updated thing they basically gave examples of channels that would be affected and uh, I feel really bad if I was singled out by the FTC um, but maybe what it was was they were saying you know this is a channel that specifically says that it's intended for younger audiences and that um, features children or talks to children in a certain way puts music on there, you know, because they're, it, and what's, what's sad is just, you know, there's, there's an educational aspect to it too, that, you know, there can be videos where, you know, because parents are absent, maybe little kids don't know how to handle situations, you know, like bullying or whatnot, and they have these, you know, people on there that show people, show kids how to deal with bullying, or show kids how to deal with, I don't know, math problems or something. I'm sure there's channels out there like that. And to just strip those people of their means of, of how they're making a living. Not my cup of tea, kids. That's definitely... That's def... I, I just... It's 
I don't know. I just, yeah. I'm uh, not happy about it, as you can tell. Like I said, it's not, oh, but I will say actually as part of that, I'm gonna go back and I'm actually gonna delete my pet channel and um, I might delete the aquarium channel too. I mean, they don't hardly have any, I mean, they've got some subscribers and whatnot, but especially the pet channel, like they could literally go through and wipe out like all the pet channels. I don't think that they will. I think that they will have some restraint um, for for most of them that they'll still be around. But if there's any that are like especially sort of seem to be directed at younger kids, those will be the one that ones that go away. You think? I hope it's more like low hanging fruit in terms of like go after the Mattel and the Hasbro and the you know all the the super obvious. And you know, even like Nickelodeon has a channel on here, you know, I mean, but Nickelodeon also has a actual cable channel as well. And are they going to not be able to put advertising on their TV channel? It's, I don't know. It just seems weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, well. Let's change the subject. Um, so I'm not much of a basketball fan. I used to be when I was a kid, really grew out of it, though, as I grew older. Just not a big basketball fan. I just find it hard to watch. But I did see where um, Duke University got beat this weekend. Um, and, okay, I can do this one. I'm kind of stuck right there. Uh they got beat by Stephen F. Austin University, which is a m pretty small school. It's supposed to be more, much more of a pushover for Duke, but they were able to win, and they won at Duke, which hadn't happened in I don't know how many years. Duke had gone like this undefeated streak at home for like forever, and then Stephen F. Austin beat them literally like at the last second this guy hit a layup like right as time was expiring and they beat him and the court reporter on court reporter was interviewing the guy that did the um this the, this story has a point that has nothing to do with basketball um the reporter was interviewing the kid who got the game winning shot and they just asked him you know what does this mean for you guys and he was talking about different things, but eventually then what came up was that he had had a really hard year because he was originally from the Bahamas and his family had really been struggling that year because um, the Bahama, uh, the big, huge uh, hurricane that passed over the Bahamas and kind of just wiped out so much of them, of that island, that um, a lot of people really lost almost everything, if not everything. And his family, like his dad lost the vast majority of his church and their home was severely damaged and there's just a lot going on. And and I guess, I don't think at that time, but maybe afterwards, like at the press conference or something, somebody from Stephen F. Austin came out and said, yeah, actually we set up a GoFundMe page for um, his family that anybody could go and donate to to help them kind of get back on their feet. And they had put this goal up of like $50,000 or whatever. And, you know, it hadn't really gone very, very, I, I don't know what it was at when I, when it, before this game, um, because it takes a lot of people. It takes a lot of people coming, thousands and thousands to donate to get to like 50,000. It takes quite a few, I mean, it takes at least, 10,000 people and that's just a lot for a small school like that and what happened was they publicized that this guy had a GoFundMe and then you had two different kinds of people that went to the GoFundMe page and donated at least that's what it looked like from my view because when I saw that I'm like oh let me go check this out and see what this is you know see see where the fundraiser is at and they had gotten all the way as of like the next afternoon they had gotten all the way to like seventy seven thousand dollars raised so they had 
like far surpassed the goal. It was pretty amazing. And there were two different kinds of people that were commenting. One, per, one side said, I hate Duke. Thank you for beating them. This is for your family. I hope they, they, you know, they can bounce back and, and get back to, get back to normal soon or something like along those lines. And then the other group that, that donated was, I'm a huge Duke fan. I'm an alumnus and that was a great game from you guys. Congratulations. So sorry about your family. Um, here's a little something to help you out. And so it was just classy, you know, just totally classy. I loved it. I get this right here. So it was pretty cool. So yeah, so his family is going to have now plenty of money to be able to rebuild, get back on their feet. That's pretty awesome. So yay. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's highlight. Highlighter. I use my highlight. My highlighter. Do da da do da da. Work, work, stitch. Stitch. Can you Fargo downstairs? Put the dogs up. Well, not all the dogs. Only a couple of the dogs had to stay up today. The ones that are all over me whenever they're out. Because I had to work. And I was so successful today working. It felt so good to get all that stuff done. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm just looking. I think I could just do some more of this and just keep coming down here. I'm absolutely going to keep stitching on this, though, once I, uh... Whoops, I forgot. I'm supposed to eat the pie. We had, uh, stopped it. My husband picked a pie up from the store. Well, actually, he picked two pies up from the store. One pie was, um... A pumpkin pie with like an inch and a half of frosting or frosting whipped cream oof that's my dinner tonight I gotta tell you guys right now that's dinner and then he picked up a peanut butter pie he wanted a pecan pie but they were out of pecans so he had to get um, he had to get the other one so it was a big, huge pie. We, I had some, what night was it? Wednesday night, and I had some Thursday morning. And I had just a little bit Thursday afternoon, and I haven't had anything all day. You kind of, you know how it is around Thanksgiving, like you, you indulge a little too much, and then you're like, oh, I got to have me some salad or something. And so, something like that. So I found another um, app slash website that I think is a lot better than Audible as far as audiobooks are concerned because you can listen to as many audiobooks as you want to and the thing is is that yes i could do it from my from my library but my library makes me wait a really long time and for things that are really popular and in a lot of cases you can just listen to those books right off the bat on it's called scribd s c r i b d and it's about eight bucks a month and it's pretty awesome. So that's how I actually listen to a couple of different... Ooh, that reminds me. I need to listen. There's a, another short story that... I, well, shorter story that I need to listen to. But um, I needed to do that. 
I was gonna do it today, but then I ran out of time. Because hubby's gonna be home probably by the time I finish this stitch with me. A little later than usual. Well, that's not true. A lot earlier than usual. Let me let this untangle. So highlighter. But anyway, so I need to look for another book or two. But there's a lot of hockey going on tonight, so a lot of hockey. So that'll be fun. There was a little bit on this afternoon, but I haven't watched any yet because I didn't want to get too distracted. So I hope the birds like their new food. I had to get something different. I thought I had their bag still of a little bit of food because I'm like well of course I would have kept the bag because I needed to know what brand they were using God, we'd had that bag for like a year and a half so much food I really don't want to buy that large of a bag going forward because I don't like the thought that maybe that some of that food gets old and doesn't taste as good but I got some specific parakeet food and it looks a lot like what they got and then I also got them some like little treats like kind of nutty treats so they're kind of working at it they, they do like the new food because at least I'm catching them eating that so that's good and uh I'm not 100% sure about the treats, but I think that will come with time. Yeah, and I worked on Reaper, and I got a lot done on Reaper. Oh, and Rainy Waterloo Place. Okay, so I've worked on Rainy Waterloo Place and Reaper, and I started on Honeybee Portrait last night. I, I don't think I've done enough to warrant me stopping working on it just yet. And then we'll have this one that I'll work on tonight. Tonight. Ooh ah. Ooh ah. Got some hockey, got some hockey. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Wheel kids. No, we're still stitching. We're still stitching. Just keep stitching. <laughs> Those guys are cute. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, I have this f crazy recurring dream 
well, it's the theme is sort of recurring. It's in a different setting, like every time I kind of go through the series of dreams. But it's usually about a school setting. And a lot of times, I might have mentioned this before, but a lot of times it's where I'm taking a class, but I don't show up until the final. And then not only am I not 100% sure when the final is happening, but I also don't know where the classroom is at. Like I don't know what time my classes are at. I don't know where they're at. I've somehow managed to just not get that info, but yet still have to take this test. And last night I had a version of that dream where this time I believe I was at vet school. And in this version of the dream, I literally stopped in my dream and said, hey, I need to get, because it was right at the beginning of classes, you know, the first of the term or whatever. And I was like, I need a printout of where and when my classes are so I know where to go. I always forget to get that. But last night I didn't forget it. I was like, good job, dream me. Perfect. Now I just got to actually make it to class. But I thought that was a massive improvement over my normal dream activity. Very cool. Boop, 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 ba -doo. Do, 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 She's a bad dog. She's not a bad dog. She's just excited. I wonder if my husband... No, he shouldn't be home yet. At least I don't think so. Let me highlight. I gotta highlight. I've gone too far ahead. Wrist just popped. Yay! I don't think that was a very good stitch. It was okay, but it wasn't great. Or even good. Bird was all mad. Hmm. So, if you guys are going to ask about what I thought about the Bears quarterback getting hit in the head like he did the other day, yesterday, I guess, I will tell you, I didn't see it. I don't watch football anymore. Just flat out don't watch it. I just don't find it 
as entertaining as hockey anymore. Which is, which is, that's to be expected, to be honest. I have gone through other times in my life where I've gone away from football for a number of years, and then I came back. So I'm sure I'll come back at some point. But for now, I'm just going to focus on the hockey. Dudes, dudes and dudettes. Do, do, do. First, we're going to highlight. It's, I don't know, can you guys see all the different... I can see all the different colors that are kind of... There's pinkish, and there's kind of greenish, and there's bluish, gray, more tan, more dark over here. I don't know if, that, if it picks it up really well with the light that I'm using. I do not know. I don't... Do not know. boop doo boop 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 Almost dropped the whole thing. I'm sitting here just putting stuff together. Oh, yeah, so the one down part of the Wonders of the World on Pattern Keeper is that the only thing is that because it's blended thread, I have to actually put the numbers in. <laughs> It gives me the symbols, but it's like, you're going to have to give us the numbers. So that will also be something I do tonight. So for the, I don't know, 180 colors or whatever it is on that. 200 colors, I don't know, whatever it is. That will be what I do. So it's all good. There we go. Doop, 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 doop. Well, well then there, then there. Hopefully I won't mess up today when I'm doing my upload and splicing everything together. I'm telling you, I don't know how I messed that up in the last video because the project as put together on the video program was whole, but then when it got exported, it only exported the second clip and not the first. I don't understand. Makes no sense. Ah, snack. Two snacks in a row. Come here, you. Come here, Snagalicious. There we go. Boop, <laughs> 
Yep, I do believe pie is for dinner. I'm starting to feel like a little sweet tooth coming on. So yeah, so tonight, I'll do that Wonders of the World thing, get all the colors in, and work on this some more, definitely work on this some more, pull out some of these, some of these, fill in these areas that I haven't filled in yet. Some more on Honeybee Portrait. I wonder if this is the cloud. I think that must be the cloud. I can't, I can't imagine that is actually the um, the tower. I don't think it's the tower. Oh, I gotta tell you guys though, I forgot to tell you, it was, what day was it? Was it last Friday night? It must have been last Friday night, and I forgot about it in the stitch with me. But we decided we'd had rough Fridays, and, it, and I had to work Saturday, and I was like, yeah, we we'll just get some, just pick something up. So we decided to pick something up at um, uh, Domino's, like go grab a pizza. And I was like, I haven't been in this Domino's in forever. So I walked in. It was much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's only like a couple blocks away from where I work. And I go inside to order. And then I just sat down by the counter and I watched them work. I could not believe what a well-oiled team that team was. There had to have been like 15 people inside the store working to constantly assemble pizzas. And it was like... They had like one person at the, the counter, the register. They had two people assembling dough. Somebody that I think was just in charge of sauce. Somebody that was in charge of like the meat ingredients. And then everybody like, there were like six people in total that were assembling the pizzas. And, and anything else that they needed. And then they would throw them in and... What's that sound? Well, it's, I think it's a plane. Um, and, and then they had two people on the other side of the oven that were pulling out the pizzas, cutting them, and putting them in the boxes, or putting them in the boxes, and then slicing them up, and then closing them up, and slapping the orders on them. And then they had, like, two people on the opposite side of that little area that looked like all they were doing was just full-time assembling boxes. And then they had, I think there were at least like six or seven delivery drivers that came in while I was there that would literally come running in, grab an order, and run right back out. 
it was it was crazy and i was just like i mean they were just it was just it was just amazing to see it really was i love watching those you know like i love watching like a kitchen assembling food or you know any any kind of process like that um you get to watch people actually make something and see how every step of the way, how it works. Everybody's got their job, you know, like an assembly line, basically. And I was just fascinated. I'm like, we got to come back here some more. I'm going to order a pizza and just stand here and watch them. This is fascinating. So that was pretty cool, dudes. Pretty cool. I'm also going to take my little map downstairs and actually work on it tonight. Now that I, we got the drawing done, I'm going to go back and throw a bunch of people on the site. Or mark a bunch of people off the map. I'm going to mark you off the map. stitching keep on keep on keep on <laughs> sorry got that stuck in everybody's head good job and then I gotta finish cleaning up this room got organized I pulled out all my cross stitch stuff because I was looking for that fabric that I thought I had but I didn't and I want to actually move a lot of it in here um, but it depends on me clearing out room for it. And that basically means the, the shelving unit we have in here. That's the, that'll determine whether or not I can put that stuff in here. And it's really, I mean, honestly, it's, most of it's downstairs. Like I've started so many different projects that I have like three of those very large project bags stuffed to the brim with cross-stitch projects like fabric that I'm actively working on. Really need to straighten that area up down there. That's what I need to do. But thank you so much for hanging out. If you guys, if you aren't currently subscribed, consider subscribing. Give me a big old like. I appreciate it. It does help. Um, and if you were like, wait a minute, there was a drawing? What kind of craziness is this? You never talk about it. You're right, I don't. Because I learned early on that, and my folksies told me, that when I, when you announce you're having a drawing, you get a ton of people that will just come for the day and look at your site. Now, some of them may stay. That's possible. But you really ought to reward those that are constant you know some of you guys have been around for a couple of years now almost three years and so that should be rewarded all right so what it looks like it's, what, what it looks like is that there's some bluish we're getting into some bluish area here so that'll be cool that'll be cool but yeah we got quite a ways we got another whole page i think of this cloud stuff before we get to any of this. So, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I've got to go down and feed the dogs. Hubby will be home any second. So, and then we got to get to eating some pies. And then we got a lot of hockey to watch. And it's going to be a fun night. So, you guys take care. I will see you guys soon. And I'm going to hopefully have this video out first thing in the morning. And y'all are going to be shocked. So, see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.